zero motorcycle knowledge, a height of 411, riding a CBR 150R. In this video, I will try to learn how to ride a motorcycle in 4 days ish. Let's go. Hello, I'm Jam, and for this video, we are going to learn a manual transmission na motorcycle. Ito yung my gear, my clutch, my buckle. And this is challenging for me kasi nga, yun nga, wala akong alam sa motorcycle. And medyo maliit po ako. So, nakatipto ako sa motor. Very challenging. So, what I love about motorcycles, as a back rider pa lang naman, is that nakaka-distress siya. Kasi diba, pag nasa bike ka, ideally, bawal ka mag-phone. So, it forces you to just focus on the moment and have a space alone with your thoughts. Research actually showed na motorcycles do decrease stress and increase mental focus. Also, ang cool kaya tingnan ng mga nakamotor. Our game plan is to take the Honda Safety Driving Center 20-hour basic safety riding course and of course pass its assessment. The Honda Safety Driving Center is accredited by LTO so if you mo ng practical driving course certificate, ito yung course na take mo. We will start with a bike. Record kasi na mo kang mag-balance. Well, we prepared for this. No. We practice that. Fun fact, the day before this lang din ako natuto magpedal ng mountain bike. Yung haling bike ko kasi ay nung bata pa ako. Eh, maliit ah, lang yun. So, so nag-practice muna kami mag-bike bago ako nagpa-assess. So, we enrolled sa HSDC and after passing the initial biking assessment, ito ang naging advice sa amin ni Ma'am Angel. Yung tatlong babae, Tagalaguna, puro Tagalaguna sila. Hindi nila alam na pag hindi pala nakapasa sa akin, pag hindi sila makalabas, may additional bayad, yung parang mag-implat sila. Kaya hanggang nandun kayo sa bahay niyo, katulad niyo, hindi pa kayo nag-start ng TVC. Mag-bike talaga na kayo. Kasi kahit marunong ka sa bike, isang ikot lang, iba yung bigat ng motor. So yung next available slot for the regular schedule of the course was next month na. Ganun kadami yung nag apply sa HSDC na course. So we opted for a special schedule which allowed us to start the following week again. The initial plan was for me to buy a full riding gear, um, jacket, boots, pants. But I ended up buying only the helmet and the pads. Kasi medyo mahal din po pala yung gear. <laughs> and now, we are ready to ride. Day 1! Day 1 and we are not off to a great start. <laughs> handling muna tayo and we are handling a CBR 150R which is 3 times my weight. So I can, for the life of me, take off yung stand ng motor. standard sports bike na ginagamit for the course. So, ang ginawa na ng instructor ko is to have me started with a smaller and lighter bike. We first learned about the clutch and the biking point, or what others known as the friction zone. That's the practice balance, and dito na kami na kaproblema ni Kuya. Yes! 
Wala. Ano pang problema sa akin? Sa'yo, yung uh, clutch control. Gain install ka pa. Oo. 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 lang okay yan. Pero yan okay. Ang mga status dito, prerequisite. Kapag hindi mo nagagawa yung yung unang stage, kasi hindi mo magagawa yung susunod na stage kasi related to yung susunod na stage. Ang susunod na stage. Ang mga balancing. Doon ako na late. Sa tano naman, trotter ko. Ganun lang kasi siya. Dalawa ang gano'n kahirap. Ikotrolin ito. Ha? Ganun naman ba mag-bike? Hindi. Kaya pala tinanong sa atin, sino nag-assassin nyo? Sino nag-assassin nyo? Paano nakapasok to? Gear shifting naman yung next and dito matatas yung coordination mo. Kasi what will happen is that you'll have to close your throttle, clutch in, gear shift, slowly release your clutch, and then ram na onte. Yun. Ang dami na nangyari, diba? So, eh, kakatotoko pa lang ng clutch. Tapos bigla inintroduce yan. Tapos ang dami pang rules sa gear shifting up and down. Tapos nasa daan na kayo. So, dapat mabilis talaga yung pag-pick up mo ng lessons. Hello, tapos na yung day one. Bali, ang ginagawa ko is that bawat turn, tinatanong ko saan ako nagkamali para maayos. Tsaka kasi pag nakikita niyo nagkakamali ako, inanote niya dun sa passport kaya ayaw ko talaga nagkakamali. See you sa'yo day two. Okay. May play ko ba? Ah! <laughs> ano? Yeah. Since our next session is in two weeks, I practiced biking. Starting, stopping, turning, pag may time. <laughs> Wala kaming motor stand sa bahay, so mahirap mag-practice ng gear shifting, ng actual gear shifting. So what I did is, mentally ako nagpa-practice, like randomly na agalan ako. Tapos, gear shift. Ganyan ako. <laughs> anyway, if you're enjoying this video so far, I hope you can press the like button to help it spread to more aspiring riders out there. Also, I need validation. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> so day two was an eventful and challenging session. So we did target stopping, perimeter riding, target stopping, narrow plank, line slalom, turning and stopping and slope. And dami de ba? <laughs> Ang highlight talaga ng session nato is stopping. So pag malit yung legs mo, nakatip to kalang sa motor. So, pag mali ka ng stop, ma-out of balance ka. Ah! Ah! Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Video nito ko sa makas! So, ang last time break mo! Ay! So, thank God sa crash guards ng bike sa Honda kasi super wide niya. So, kahit bumagsak ka na ilang beses, hindi maitot yung legs mo and very safe ka pa din. Ang naapektuhan ng pag umabagsak ako ay yung aking self-esteem. Wala po tayong crash guards for that. Hello! Tapos na yun, day two. Tiyanan, naman tao. And, masakit pa rin sa kamay. But, I'm getting better and more confident riding the bike. Day 3, more of refinement lang ng skills and introducing us to new road situations. Like for example, dirt course or pag mabato yung daan, paano yung feeling pag meron ka angkas, and what if paliko-liko yung road. The main takeaway ko talaga in this session is that speed equals stability. And this has been my go-to thought whenever nag-aalangan ako sa motor. Overall, I did okay, pero hindi pa rin ako ganun. Kagaling. Um, moving off, medyo may kunting delay pa. Dapat lahat yun, smooth na. I had four different instructors during the course and lahat sila magagaling. Magaling sila kasi kahit di sila nakatingin sa'yo, alam nila yung tulog ng motor mo if you're pressing too hard on the brakes or kung anong gear ka na nandun. So kahit malayo sila, alam mo na naka-observe sila sa ginagawa mo. Hey, God, baka makasanay mo kasi, ha? Ngayon pa lang, babawalan na kita. More than that, the instructors I had were very encouraging. Lalo na sa akin kasi alam nilang nahihirapan ako dun sa motor. Oh, 
Ah, totoo. <laughs> Ayaw na. After isang obstacle, nag-invinstall ako. Hindi talaga ganun last session. Ibig sa naman po ang nakalipas since our last practice. So, medyo humina na naman po yung ating muscle memory. So, nakakita talaga matapos yung course. So, I push through with the assessment. Judgment day! Ito na. Papasok ka na. Pa-perfect yung para sa inyo yung ano, assessment. So, kalimitan mo ng generics mo, mga kay nakalimutan mo pag-signal and then nakalimutan mo dahil sa signal. It's no sa narrow plan. So, ang target test na rin is as in 7 seconds, diba? Minus ka sa inyo yun. So, si ma'am is 6 seconds. Kulang na isang signal. Nakamalit ka ng bilang. Kaya na ipapasin mo. Pagdanda, sa gagay lang. 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, Kaya lang sa big bike, parang hindi pa ako pagdansa. Mga union to, sa union to pa. Gusto ko masanay ka sa may mabigat na mag-aaw. Mga pangatay, kaya mo doon. Kaya lang, uh, nanin, parang natatakot ka muna eh. Ikaw na yung takot. At saka yung sabi ko sa'yo, dapat lagi ka nakapitol. Maganda yung pagliko mo. Huwag lang problema sa pagliko, sa controls. Kaya lang, uh, yung weight, yun na maging problema. At saka may pagkakain mo kapag big bike na. So, kaya tandaan mo lagi yung awok sa kamay travel. Uh, ayun, kamay mo sa travel. Uh, okay naman po yung, ano, yung assessment. Kaya naman po mag-exact. Mas mababala na po ang benefit na ito. Thank you. And yes, after four days, I passed the assessment with only seven demerits. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Kasi na po motorista. Boom. What I realized is that mabilis nang naman mag-aral ng manual transmission. Pero mahirap siyang i-master. And mas mahirap siyang i-operate dito sa city. Lalo na kasi maraming stopping na nangyayari dahil sa traffic. Eh, weakness ko nga yung stopping. With my height, syempre, ang sad lang na I have to work twice as hard just so I can ride safe and handle my bike with ease sa road. But, wala tayong magagawa eh. Hindi na po tayo tatangkad eh. It's good to know though na hindi naman siya imposible and marami na rin namang lady riders sa road. So, wala yun sa height. Nasa skills mo rin yan. And just like with everything, matututunan din natin yan. I would have to admit, control your environment sa HSDC. So, ibang-iba siya sa actual road situation sa Philippines and I still have a lot to learn and a lot of practicing to do. My journey as a lady rider does not end here. Magpa-practice pa ako ng madaming madami sa aming lugar and hopefully soon I'll earn enough confidence para sumali sa community ng riders and do long rides. Yan talaga yung gusto kong mangyari. I hope this video helped you in one way or another. The full vlog of my HSDC experience will be up on my channel soon, so subscribe if you want to see more of me. That's all for me. Again, I'm Jam. Thank you for watching. Ride safe. Paalam. Layo. Tapos na. Ako ay pasado. At kami ay gagawa ng kalokohan. Kunwari daw bumagsak siya. <laughs> bumagsak? <laughs> Kuya, sa mga vlog? Ipapadala lang po namin sa nanay namin para pagalitan kami. Tapos sasabihin namin nakapasa kami. <laughs> Kaya lang, gandang trip namin sa buhay eh. Pagpunin trip namin sa buhay. Gusto namin mapanganib. <laughs> Papa, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go